This is The Little Things, our weekly talk about what's new on the net, brought to you by Edible Mouse Ears. Tasty and nutritious, the perfect snack when you're waiting in line at the Disney theme parks. Now here's your host, BKL. Hello and welcome to another edition of The Little Things. I'm your host, BKL, and today we've got the honor of having Ken the voiceover guy from the Grand Circle Tour podcast and the solo show joining us. We're going to talk a little bit about how the Grand Circle Tour podcast came to be, about the solo show, and what it's like working with Stan Solo. So bring him in right now. Here he is, Ken the voiceover guy. Yeah, hey, hey how are you? Good to see you, man. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, hey, any, anytime, whatever. Hey, it's all okay, okay. Hey, before we even get started, man, first of all, you got my check? That's that's what I need to hear, man. You got my check, yeah. The check's right there. Yeah, right on. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. And, uh, yeah, you dated it for 2022 this time. Okay, good enough. We're going to get along just fine. All right. First of all, I'd like to talk about how the Grand Circle Tour podcast came to be. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? How did I get started with the Grand Circle Tour podcast? Okay, well, that one came first, actually. Uh, my old buddy Steve Solo. Uh, that's Stan Solo. Stan, whatever. Yeah, anyway. Uh, my old buddy Stan Solo. He comes to me one day, and he's all, like, super excited. And he's like, hey, man, I got a great idea. I'm going to start doing a podcast. I think it's going to be fun. I'm like, okay, great. That's, uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. What's the podcast going to be about? And he says, that's the genius part, man. It's going to be about nothing. Absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. And I said, Stan, you know there was a show about nothing quite a while back, man. You might have heard of it. It was called uh, Seinfeld, you know. Uh, and he's like, uh, oh, yeah, okay, Seinfeld. Yeah, he's, he's like, so I said to him, Stan, your show should be about something that you care deeply about something that you're passionate about that's 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 the way to go for your for your podcast that's what you need to talk about and he stops and he thinks about it for a second he goes making shirts man making shirts that's what the show's going to be about it's going to be about making shirts and i'm like stan whoa 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 okay first of all dial it down a couple of notches bring it down to human level mm -hmm. second of all nobody's going to listen to a show about making shirts man Nobody's going to listen to a show about making shirts. You and your friends, I've talked to a few of them online too. You're all super passionate about Disney. Why don't you do a show about Disney and and uh, and talk about the things that you love about Disney? The Disney theme parks, the, the Disney destinations, movies and so on. And Stan stops and thinks about it for a second and he's like, that's a good idea. That could work too. That's, that's, uh, that's doable. And I'm like, uh, yeah, we can totally do that. I said, I can help you out with some voiceover work and that sort of thing, and uh, and we'll take it from there. And so that's how the Grand Circle Tour podcast was born. It was just that simple. Let's talk a little bit now about the solo show. How did that get started? Yeah, thanks for this, by the way. Oh, the solo show, man. That one was kind of a funny story, too. So after he's been doing the Grand Circle Tour podcast for a few months, Stan comes to me one afternoon and he's like, I want to do my own show. I think I want to do my own thing on my podcast. And I'm like, okay, that's a good idea. And uh, that's, uh, what are you going to do about uh, your own different show, your own show uh, by yourself? And he's like, I got this, this bitchin' idea, man. I just this, this really awesome idea, Steve, uh, Stan says to me. He says, I want to do a show about making shirts, man. This time I'm serious. I want to do a show about making shirts. We're going to call it the Sew Show. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, first of all, Stan, okay, first of all, you need help, okay? You got to talk to somebody about this obsession with making shirts. Second of all, nobody's going to listen to a show about making shirts, man. Why don't you do your own show? Call it the Solo Show, the Solo Show, you know? It's got a two-part meaning. It's about you being on your own, and it's also your name, man, Stan Solo. And he's like, well, okay, that's cool, but what should I make the show about? I said, man, you're passionate about talking about the Disney thing, the experience, uh, going to the Disney theme parks, going to the Disney rides, going to uh, watching the Disney movies and the Disney TV shows and that sort of thing. That's what your show should be about. I said, but to make it different, you're going to have a different guest host every week. And he's like, mind blown right mind blown 
Very interesting. Stan's like, a different guest host every week, man. We'll call it the guest host chair. And I'm like, there you go. We can work with that. I'll take care of the editing for you. I'll take care of the voiceovers. I'll take care of the production end of it, that sort of thing. The only thing you got to do, man, is line up the guests and we'll take it from there. It's going to be an awesome show. What's the relationship between you and Stan Solo like? Oh, Stan and I, well, you know, we got a great working relationship. I mean, uh, uh, he has these great ideas all the time and that sort of thing. Uh, he doesn't pay me much, you know, but I mean, you know, hey, 10 bucks is 10 bucks, man. I'll, I'll do whatever I got to do, right? I'd like to now for a minute take you back about a year to uh, the time you actually tried to stage a coup on Stan's show when you tried. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I told you, man, that one's out. No, we're out. We're done. I'm out. I told you. Take it over. We're not talking about that. I told you. I told your people. I said, you bring that up. I'm done. We're out. Okay. No, wait, sit down. Sit down. No, hang on a second. Sit down. We're done. That's it. We're done. I told you, man. I, I said you. Don't do that. I said, don't bring that up. No, Next you don't need to be that way, man. Here, man. You don't need to Keep be that, that way incident out of my out of your mouth. All man. I want to talk Keep about is the truth. That's all I'm trying to do is talk about. That's all I got to say to you, man. I told you not to bring that up. Well, it looks I like that's you it for the, uh, this episode of the Little Things. Thanks for joining us.